What up Team Colossus? I know we were on a bit of a hiatus and we apologize for that, but we're back. We got some uploads for you. And today we're gonna go over our top three rear delt exercises, it's something we've been working hard and exercises we find have really helped us produce amazing results. The rear delts are so important, guys, because if you're just hitting chest, your chest bra, you know, and you're leaning over like this with your huge chest, you're gonna look stupid. You want those rear delts to pin you back, make those shoulders look wide and thick. If you want 3D delts, this is how you get them. Before we jump into that, we've got so many messages through Instagram, especially after asking what we do in the morning to kind of stay motivated, stay accountable. As you guys know, we used to do school, business, sports, our own endeavors here with fitness. And now we're just, we've been, we've developed a routine that really works for us to help us grow and develop in the morning in a very short time frame. So here are the things to do every morning to really progress and grow as people, even outside the fitness industry, you guys wanna make sure you're always growing and working every muscle, being your body and your brain. So here are our top three things, then we'll jump into the gym. Number one, guys, I'm incredibly passionate about this. I'm so thankful I came across this. So I'm one of those people that I always have probably a million thoughts going through my head. I'm always like, I gotta remember this. I gotta do this later. Oh, I should be doing this. This is a good goal for me to reach. Oh, I should. And it just, it puts me all over the place, especially when I wake up. So the greatest thing I've ever found is the second I wake up in the morning, it's called brain drain. You're draining that brain of all the thoughts and everything. And you're actually transforming those thoughts onto writings on paper. So you're just emptying out your head, all your thoughts, your goals, whatever pops in there. I find myself writing, I love coffee pretty much every day. Just any thought that comes in your head, write it down, put it on paper. It is so freeing. I promise you this is the greatest 10 minutes you can start within uh, your morning. It is so powerful. It has changed everything for me. I, I attribute so much of my success to just doing this. I definitely recommend you give it a try. It's a bit awkward at first, kind of just writing down whatever pops in your head, but challenge yourself with it. Past that, you really wanna make sure you're writing down things you're grateful for, you know, whatever that may be in your life. Life. Um, it's so great and it's such a powerful way to see that you have a lot to be thankful for every day. It's so easy to compare yourself and kind of look up the ladder and just kind of say, oh, I wish I was doing this or I'm not successful, I'm not doing this. Pretty much any point in your life, no matter how bad it is, there's definitely something you can be thankful for and there's definitely gratitudes that can be expressed and you'll feel so much better just writing that down. And this is the best number one tip I have. So this is something I do every single morning. Once I take my thoughts and I put them all onto paper, this is time for me to relax and focus on my breathing, really focus on kind of sending centering myself and getting ready for the rest of the day. We have 60,000 thoughts, it's said, um, that kind of run through our head every single day, so it's nice to be able to block them out for just a 10 minute span. And I will say, guys, for the first month or two of me trying to do this, I was absolutely horrible. I'm still not the greatest, but it is so nice just to sit back, relax, and just try to focus on breathing, ground yourself, center yourself, and it's a great feeling. I find any day that I actually don't do this, I have a really bad like mindset, and I'm just not in like a proper mood to really conquer the day, so this is something I've been doing for quite a while now, and I highly recommend doing this. Any of these tips we're giving you guys, I recommend also doing it every single day, even if it's a Sunday, get in that habit, do it for 30 days, and you guys will be very thankful that you're doing this. On to the next one. Okay, then lastly, guys, if you guys follow us on Instagram, I always post tidbits of this book, and this is actually today's video sponsor. We like their products so much that we reached out to them, asked if we could put them in a video. So we wanna give them a huge shout. So this is the Morning Sidekick Journal. And the reason this is so great is if you're not a pro with your morning routines, doing everything that myself and Kyle do, take a lot of time to build up to that and build up the determination. The beauty of this book is it does it for you. It's all in phases. So you guys will see it starts off with the why, the what, the how, then phase one, phase two, phase three, right? And this is gonna work you through to becoming more determined and a more successful person in the morning. If you guys can harness and utilize your mornings, you're setting the tone for the rest of the day. You don't wanna wake up, reach your phone, keep slacking. If that is you, you need this book. It will do you wonders and it will throw you right into everything. So they start you out by understanding your why, guys. First and foremost, you can see Kyle's taking all his notes here, right? It's really, what, what do you want, what to expect? It's, just a beautiful book, and then you can see there's formats. My most important task of today, I can prove my life by 1%. Top two distractions to minimize tonight, magical moments, and then every day there's a tidbit of what you gotta do. So you guys will love this book. Um, it's really cool. Check it out, first link in the description down below. If you guys are really into fitness and self-development and improving yourself, you guys wanna make sure you start the day off right. When I do this, I find I get centered, I get focused, and it sets me on a good tone along with all my other things. So definitely something to check out, guys. And uh, let's get into the gym. Let's show you how to build those rear delts. Numero uno for them big rear delts. 
is external rotation shoulders. We're using a band. Ideally, you can use a cable, get the attachment, stand in position, arm over, and rotate externally through that rear delt. This also poses a fantastic mobility exercise, so if you want to go lighter and use a really light band, you can do it with that. We're actually using this for a working set, but we have to do reps for about 20 to really tire out the muscles, so make sure you're using a light enough weight, but a heavy enough weight that you can really engage it to grow that rear delt. Really open up that shoulder, keep that elbow as tight as you can. You don't want to flop it like this. That's not what we're trying to do. Stay tight, chest up, postured. Nice rotation. Really focus that mind-muscle connection. And exercise number two, guys, we have the bent over rear delt flies. Common mistake number one, a lot of people will grab really heavy weights, they'll sit upright, that's gonna be targeting more of the lateral head. You wanna go all the way forward, fight to get that chest down, and it's not back like that because you'll be getting more of your lats. It's actually a bit forward. Focus on that mind-muscle connection, guys. This is a great exercise. Really focus on those rear delts and give it a try. Number three, the Colossus Fitness favorite. If you don't already know, you should know. It's the face pull. I love this exercise for the rear delt. It's fantastic. So many people say, how do you like this exercise? It sucks. I don't feel it in my rear delts at all. It's because people are doing this and they're doing this and they're just missing the point in its entirety, right? This is a fantastic exercise when performed correctly. And if you guys don't know, you should really check out the video we filmed on how to face pull. Kind of blew up. People seem to love it, so I think you will too. We'll put in a little snippet of that here instead of demonstrating it today so you can check that out. If you guys want to see more of that video, it'll be the second link in the description of this video. So first and foremost, when you guys are doing this exercise, you wanna come here, keep your arms nice and straight, kind of posture yourself out and squeeze those glutes. Get those glutes and core tight, and what you're doing is you're physically pulling this portion that connects to the cable towards your face. So here you'll notice this is a face pull. This is not a face pull. Past that, we're gonna head downtown, get some great food, show you what we've been up to, and show you some of the PRs we've been hitting, so get ready. So we're out here at Nando, it's our favorite spot. We haven't been here in so long. In fact, we were so hungry, we demolished our food. We could have definitely filmed it for you guys, our bad. Uh, but yeah, we just want to give you a little update on what's been going on. So I've been powerlifting, Kyle's been powerlifting, we're trying to hit some heavy numbers. So I've actually ended up hitting a bench PR, you'll see that here. Up, 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 drive, 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 drive. Woo! Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That was an ugly And now it's huge because if you guys saw that old video where I filled that 350 and it was like a crazy grind, you'll see here. Let's go. Up, 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 push, 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 come on. He's got it, he's got it. You got it. Go, 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 go. Come on. Up, up, up. <laughs> Kyle's gonna hate me for these edits, but you'll see, There's, it was really good. For me to get 360 when I failed 350 like that, it was huge motivation. Bench is something I've always grinded for and something I've wanted to get up. Um, and that's why we decided, we're not doing the powerlifting meet yet, we might do one in the near future, we're not sure. But our goal right now is to hit some crazy numbers, just build strength like no tomorrow. And uh, right now we've been doing a lot of volume work as well, so I actually got a PR of 474, 476 by eight, and I think I could've got a couple more. I'm really proud on that. I'll show you that clip as well, but that's about it for me. I'll pass it on to Kyle. So yeah, right now, as you guys saw in like one of our latest videos, I got to like 208. Uh, finally now, I'm under 200 pounds, which I'm pretty pumped about. But for me, one of my biggest goals right now is to decrease about 15 pounds, get into like the low to mid 180s, 
try to maintain or even gain strength. And I think for squats and deadlifts, I'll definitely be able to do that. Maybe not bench, but we'll see uh, if I fix my form and everything. Try to strength, um, buddy. Yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm very sure because like that was just a bunch of excess fat. I was eating unnecessarily, but if I fuel my body with like 3,000 calories or just like around, you know, like 25 to 2,700, whatever it is, um, I guarantee I'll be able to get stronger. So I'm pumped to see some more shreds. Uh, I'm getting like a lot more strict with myself and uh, I also hit a squat PR of 458 which I'm pumped I probably had more and I'll put it uh, right here. That's about it. Make sure to smash that like button if you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Leave a comment with what kind of content you guys want to see. We need some new ideas to bring to you guys because there's a lot of good stuff we have coming this summer. We want to film more videos for you guys. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers.